Hey everybody, it's Miss Carrie, and this video is going to be about the eighth note, which is going to be on page 15 of our Melbay Grade 1 series book. So when we talk about eighth notes, what we have to do is alter the way that we've been counting. Up until this point in our book, we've been just counting to a straight four or a straight three, going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or if we're playing in a three, four time a waltz beat, we're counting to three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So when we start to incorporate eighth notes into our music, we are going to have to alter the way that we count because we're going to have to accommodate to the actual note. So let's start by talking about what the book says here for us. It's telling us that an eighth note receives one half beat. Okay, so what that means is the value of the eighth note is equal to a half of a beat. Okay, now we previously learned that our quarter note is equal to one beat. So our eighth note is equal to a half a beat. Therefore, that translates to one over four. You guys remember fractions from school is equal to two over eight. So in music, this translates to one quarter is equivalent to the time of two eighth notes. So two eighth notes are going to be equal to one quarter note as we can see here, okay? So since with our quarter notes we were counting to a straight four, one, two, three, four, we have to accommodate for this half beat here. We're gonna start saying the word and to accommodate those half beats. So now when I count a quarter note, it will be counted as one and, okay? And when I count my eighth note, it will be one and. So what I'm doing is I'm basically splitting up the time, okay? So one is now constituting a half a beat. The and is constituting the other half a beat. Whereas in regards to the quarter note, I would just say one and. The eighth note split up, I'm saying one and. So you guys see what I'm doing here is I'm splitting up how I'm counting um, with my words. A lot of music teachers you'll see will write it like this. They'll write the plus sign, okay? So they'll write one and, two and, three and, Four and okay so a lot of times you'll see them writing pluses because it's a little inconvenient to write out the whole word and okay so just so you guys are aware this is something that confuses a lot of people when they first learn eighth notes a single eighth note is going to have a stem and a flag coming off of it like this okay when we have two eighth notes together we're going to have a beam that connects them okay so this is a single eighth note this is a single eighth note these are two eighth notes together all four of these here are all eighth notes okay and just like our other notes that had stems, the stems can go on the bottom as well, okay? Just has to do with the area of the staff that the note is placed on, okay? So if the note is placed high on the staff, the stem will be going down and the beam will go on the bottom here. If the note is lower on the staff, you'll notice that the stem is going up and the beam is going to go across on the top, okay? This is an eighth note. These are eighth notes. These are eighth notes, okay? All of these are eighth notes. If you see a beam or you see a flag, it is an eighth note, okay? Now, along with our eighth notes, we're also going to be introducing the eighth rest, okay? The eighth rest is going to be worth the same amount of time as our eighth note. They'll both be worth a half of B, okay? So we'll be either counting it as one, or we'll be counting it as and, or two, and, three, and, or four, and, okay? Um, the tricky part is if you guys are playing on a metronome at home, basically everything we're playing is in either a common time or a 3-4 time. And remember, common time is the same as 4-4 four, four time. So my point here is that we're playing over 4. So over 4 means our quarter note gets one beat. So our time signature isn't accommodating our eighth note right now. When you guys get into middle bay grade 2, you're going to notice that you start playing over 8 towards the end of the book. That means that our eighth note is worth one beat. Unfortunately, because this book isn't playing at a very high speed, we're not using the over eight yet. We're continuing to use over four. So as long as we're playing over four, we'll have to say the ands if we're playing with eighth notes, okay? So just um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run you guys through exercise one verbally so you can see how the count is divided up. And then I'm going to do um, a video for each single line that we have here so you guys can fully understand it, okay? So starting off with our first line here on the eighth note studies, I'm going to have my quarter note, so I would count this quarter note as one and. This quarter note here would be two and. Now my eighths are going to be chopped up with the three and four and. Okay, so if I tap this out, I would have one and two and three and four and. Okay, second measure, quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, quarter, rest. Okay, so I'd go one and two and three and four, I rest. Here I'm speeding up a little bit, starting off with the eighth notes. So I would go one and two and three and four 
and, and then final measure, I have a quarter, eighth, eighth, half, so one, and two, and three, and four, and, okay? So just make sure that you guys play consistently, and make sure that your your eighth notes are being played faster than your quarter notes, and make sure you're saying the ends for the eighth notes. If it helps, write it out. Keep in mind here, 